want to win as the Republican. I want to run as the Republican nominee. So tonight you can't say if another one of these. This is what's wrong. I mean, okay. this is what's wrong. He buys and sells politicians of all stripes. He's already. Dr. Paul. Hey, look, look. He's already hedging his bet on the Clintons. Okay. So if he doesn't run as a Republican, maybe he supports Clinton, or maybe he runs as an independent. Okay. But I'd say that he's already hedging his bets because he's used to buying politicians. Well, if you recently blamed the rise of ISIS on Republican hawks. Why are you so quick to blame your own party? First of all, only ISIS is responsible for the terrorism. Only ISIS is responsible for the depravity. But we do have to examine how are we going to defeat ISIS? I've got a proposal. I'm the leading voice in America for not arming the allies of ISIS. <laughs> ISIS rides around in a billion dollars worth of U.S. Humvees. It's a disgrace. We ought to stop it. We shouldn't fund our enemies, for goodness sakes. We didn't create ISIS. ISIS created themselves, but we will stop them. And one of the ways we stop them is by not funding them and by not arming them. I want to collect more records from terrorists, but less records from innocent Americans. The Fourth Amendment was what we fought the revolution over. John Adams said it was the spark that led to our war for independence. And I'm proud of standing for the Bill of Rights, and I will continue to stand for the Bill of Rights. And, and Megan, and Senator, you know, when you're sitting in a subcommittee just blowing hot air about this, you can say things like that. When you're responsible for protecting the lives of the American people, then what you need to do is Here's to make sure is to make sure that Here's you use the, problem, the system governor. the way it's supposed Here's to work. Here's the problem, <laughs> Governor. You fundamentally un misunderstand the Bill of Rights. Rights. Every time you did a case, you got a warrant from a judge. I'm talking and about searches without warrants, there is indiscriminately no of all Americans' records, and that's what I fought to end. I don't trust President Obama with our records. I know you gave him a big hug, and if you want to give him a big hug again, go right in. I oppose the Iranian deal and will vote against it. I don't think that the president negotiated from a position of strength, but I don't immediately discount negotiations. I'm a Reagan conservative. Reagan did negotiate with the Soviets. But you have to negotiate from a position of strength. And I think President Obama gave away too much too early. If there's going to be a negotiation, you're going to have to believe somehow that the Iranians are going to comply. And I asked this question to John Kerry. I said, do you believe they're trustworthy? And he said, no. And I said, well, how are we going to get them to comply? I would have never released the sanctions before there was consistent evidence of compliance. Governor Huckabee, what Look, I don't want my marriage or my guns registered in Washington. When the government tries to invade the church to enforce its own opinion on marriage, that's when it's time to resist. Over and over again, we cannot give away money we don't have. We do not project power from bankruptcy court. We're borrowing a million dollars a minute. It's got to stop somewhere. I've introduced a five-year balanced budget. I've introduced the largest tax cut in our history. I stood for 10 and a half hours on the Senate floor to defend your, light, your right to be left alone. But I've also gone to Chicago. I've gone to Detroit. I've been to Ferguson. I've been to Baltimore because I want our party to be bigger, better, and bolder. And I'm the only one that leads Hillary Clinton in five states that were won by President Obama. I'm a different kind of Republican.